Hey there, Rick Cassani with Advanced AV and Automation. I'm here at a client's house and I thought I would take this opportunity to show you what's up with this uh, pair of racks. This is uh, one of our larger jobs, so let's get started. In the upper section of the rack here is where our, we keep all of our network equipment. So this right here is our router. Um, uh, we have one, two, 24 port switches plus an additional 24 port PoE switch uh, that controls all of our uh, wireless access points and touch screens and things that need power over the internet. We have um, a main control four processor right here and we have a backup control four processor in case there's an issue. I don't wanna wait next day for a new part. I can just come here and hot swap it. We also have two, uh, one here and one here control for IO extenders. Um, additionally, we have our camera uh, DVR. There's 16 cameras in this house and we have our UPS system. Um, uninterrupted power supply, pretty much um, all, of the, all of the network gear, control for camera DVR, all of that plugs into the UPS so I don't have any interruption in service. Uh, we are doing a distributed video system, media over IP. So all of these here are all of our sources, um, our cable box, cable two, cable three, cable four, a DVD player, Apple TV, another Apple TV. Then we also have three direct TV boxes. So all of the video sources um, plug into here. And those video sources sit here, our cable box, um, our two, uh, or our dish network here and two more dish boxes there. And I've got around the back of the rack, I've got um, three additional cable boxes. Our DVD, we have two DVD players here. I like to put drawers in the racks. They keep uh, the, the manufacturer's remotes and other various parts. Um, moving on down here, we have our audio matrix right here and two, uh, two eight zone amps. This house also has a 70 volt speaker system in the sports court and a 70 volt system by the pool. So those two amps drive those two systems. And then over here is the theater um, receiver. And down below here is the family room receiver. And that family room has an in-wall subwoofer. So this right here is the amp for the in-wall subwoofer. Um, taking a look at the back of the rack real quick. We do have a 48 port PoE switch um, right here. This drives our media over IP. So all of those video sources I talked about plug in here. And then down below, these are all the various TVs. There's about 21 TVs in the house. These are all the TVs throughout the house. <clears throat> and these are the Apple TVs and those are the three cable boxes. So that's pretty much the rack. The other thing this house has is a, is a um, panelized lighting system. So um, over here, you can see each of these modules controls eight zones of light. This particular panel has three modules in it, but there are um, two panels in one of the garages and another panel in another garage. So I've got uh, 10, 15, 18 of these modules in total uh, controlling lighting and all that's controlled by control four. We added a control four switch here for the exhaust fan and there's a thermostat built into the, we've got onto the rack. So when the temperature exceeds 88 degrees, it automatically kicks in the exhaust fan. But that's it. Those are the racks. And this is the system. Rick Cassani, Advanced AV and Automation. Over and out.